can we find Sammy's snail? <laughs> Hello. What's that noise? Can you guess? It's rain. I think it's stopping. Listen. Now we can go and see Mimi without getting wet. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Mimi, what's the matter? He's disappeared. He was here a moment ago and now he's gone. Who's gone? Sammy Snail. Look, I've been drawing a picture of him. It's great, Mimi. I love his shiny shell. I love all of him, Jess. His shiny shell, his long foot here at the bottom. He was right there, on that spot. The only thing here now is a long, twisty line. It's made of silvery, sticky stuff. I don't want silvery, sticky stuff. I want Sammy Snail. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to find him. How can we find Sammy Snail? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot Ask a lot Ask a lot Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can we find Sammy Snail? And how can we find him soon? Oh, I really miss him. I love it when he munches the lettuce I give him. And I love it when he wiggles his little eyes at me. <gasps> what if he's lost? He'll be here somewhere, Mimi. We just have to look. Yes! Where are you? I'm here! I told you if we called him, we'd find him. That's it! What? what do you mean? Mimi, if we're looking for Sammy Snail, maybe we should call him. Come on. Sammy! Sammy Snail! Where are you? Sammy Snail! <laughs> Can you help? I'll count to three and then we'll call him together. Ready? One, two, three! Sammy Snail! Great! Keep calling as we look for him. Sammy, Sammy Snail! Yoo Sammy Snail! Where are you? Come here, Sammy! Sammy! Don't think he can hear us, Mimi. Hmm. I never drew any ears on him, which must mean he doesn't have any, because I'm sure I drew him just right. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's go and see if we can find a biscuit. Bye, Jess. Hope you find him. Joey and Jinx are always hungry. <laughs> oh, Sammy Snail's probably starving too. It's ages since he had breakfast. I know. Let's put some food out for him. Then I'm sure he'll come back. What should we find for Sammy Snail to eat? Ice cream, lettuce, or a sandwich? <laughs> Lettuce! Yes! Come on, Mimi. Let's find some lettuce for Sammy. Maybe Sammy wasn't hungry after all. Maybe he just doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Don't be sad, Mimi. We'll find him. Perhaps Horace can help. Let's go and see. It's damp and dark in the woods today, now that the rain has gone away. Hey, you too. Hi, Horace. Great song. I made it up in the whispering woods. It's very dark and damp in there after the rain. And muddy too. But I'll soon clean up right here in my favourite place. Whoop -de -whoop. Oh, that's better. We're looking for Sammy Snail. We've looked all over for him. Have you looked in his favourite place? I thought his favourite place was on my tree stump. I guess he does like being near you, Mimi. But usually snails like somewhere dark and damp. <gasps> you said the Whispering Woods were dark and damp. Let's look for Sammy Snail in the Whispering Woods. Yes!
Come on. Mimi! Mimi, wait! <laughs> we better catch her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm here, but there's no sign of Sammy Snail. You never know. Sammy Snail could be looking for you at your favourite place. I hope so. Let's go back to my hutch. Which way is back? Oh, I don't know. All the trees look the same. We might be a bit lost. Oh no, Sammy Snail's lost. And now we're lost too. <laughs> Ma! Hello you two. I'm hiding from Billy. We're playing Where in the Wood Am I? You have to hide behind a tree. Hey! I'm not a tree. Ready or not, here I come! There you are, Ba! She always finds me every time. It's amazing. <laughs> it's easy. I just follow your footprints. See? Ooh, that's clever. But how do you know they're Ba's footprints? <laughs> because they're the same shape as Ba's feet. Look! <gasps> hey! If we find my footprints, we can follow them out of the woods. <gasps> Here they are! Come on! Bye! It worked! We followed my footprints all the way back! Oh, Sammy Snail's not here though! But if we could find his footprint, Mimi, then we might find him! Yes! Oh, except snails don't have feet like us, just one long foot, remember? That wouldn't make footprints, just a sort of long twisty line! Jess, we've seen a long twisty line today! <gasps> Where did we see a long twisty line? On Mimi's tree stump, on Horace's lily pad, or on my water bowl? You're right, on Mimi's tree stump! There! The long twisty line of silvery sticky stuff! It must be Sammy's trail! We just have to follow it! Here he is! <laughs> He's hardly gone anywhere at all. Just down the back of the tree stump. <gasps> Sammy, you're safe. If you weren't all slimy with a delicate shell, I'd give you a big hug. Remember Horace said that snails like dark, damp places. He found the darkest, dampest place he could find near your hutch. We found him. Brilliant. Well done. Now we know how to find Sammy Snail. And we've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! Sammy Snail by following his trail. You can make prints of your feet too. Look, we all have. <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. <laughs> Why won't my kite fly? Hello. Guess what? Mimi's made me a present. She says it's diamond shaped and it flies. Yes, just like you, little bird. Can you guess what it is? It's a kite! Come on! There you are, your very own kite. Wow, it's fantastic! Thanks, Mimi. I've never had a kite before. I can't wait to fly it. See you later. My kite needs to be up in the air to fly, not on the ground. Well, that's easy. I'll just throw it up. Oh, that 
didn't work. Hmm. Maybe if I run really, really fast, my kite will just take off like an aeroplane. Take it up into the sky and let it go yourself. But I'm a cat. I can't fly. <gasps> but some other animals can. What do we know that flies? A pig? A bird? Or a pony? <laughs> a bird, thanks! <coughs> Little bird, can you help? Can you fly my kite up high and then let it go, please? Go, little bird! Up, up, up! I hope this works. OK, little bird, let go! Oh, no! Mm, sorry, Jess. I hope you can get that kite flying. It'll be so much fun. whoop de whoop We need to see if any of our other friends can help out. I know! Billy! She always has lots of brilliant ideas. Let's go! whoop de whoop So, it won't fly, you see. That is so sad. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's think about it. We know that birds fly. You're right. I wonder how they fly. They use their wings. Brilliant, Horace. My kite needs wings to help it fly. Mimi must have forgotten the wings. We can't tell her she forgot the wings. She'll be upset. Yes. You're right. Maybe if one of us wanted wings... Pa, I need you to do something. Oh! You want to fly, Ba? <laughs> I do. I want to be the first ever flying sheep. But he can't fly without wings, Mimi. Could you make him some? <laughs> of course. I've got some feathers here somewhere. Oh, uh, hmm. oh. Jess, wings for your kite. <sighs> it's an alien. No, it's too willy to be an alien. What is it then? <laughs> it's a sheep with wings. It's Bar. Hey, Jess, what's happening? Woohoo! We'll show you. Take it away, Jess. Oh. Oh, and the wings. 
things don't work. Nothing works. <laughs> I really want to fly my kite. But how? Look! The feathers are flying! Aha! <gasps> hmm. There's a breeze! Oh, look! Look at my kite! The breeze might make my kite fly! Your kite's bigger than a feather. It'll need more than just a breeze. Like a wind. It gets windier the higher up you go. You're right. Where can we go that's really high up? The Whispering Woods, Horace's Pond or Cherry Hill? Cherry Hill, that's right. Up here. Wish me luck. Here goes. It's flying. It just needed the wind. planted those seeds, the new sunflowers would grow. Hello, Jess. Hey, Mimi. Have you seen the sunflower? <gasps> Mimi? Mimi, what's wrong? It's a dandelion plant, Mimi. I know it's a dandelion plant. How's it got here? I suppose it grew from a seed, like the sunflower. But I haven't planted any dandelion seeds. How did a dandelion seed get into Mimi's garden? Hey! That's the big question! <laughs> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way! Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play! What's the question here today? How did a dandelion seed get into Mimi's garden? Maybe someone else planted it here. Hello, Jess. Hello, Mimi. Hi, Billy. Did you plant a dandelion seed in Mimi's garden? No. Did you, Ba? No. Let's investigate. <gasps> What's that? It's my woolly coat. <laughs> Not your woolly coat. This. I wonder what it is. Hmm. It's not a nut or a leaf. Maybe it's a seed. <gasps> Perhaps it's a dandelion seed. Oh. 
sorry, Bo. It's okay, Jess. It didn't really hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Billy, did you see any seed in Mimi's dandelion plant? Like in the sunflower? No, there isn't even a flower yet. Okay, we need to find some flowering dandelions so we can look at their seeds. Dandelions always grow outside. So where do you think we should look? In the potting shed, in the barn, or outside at Buttercup Meadow? Outside at Buttercup Meadow, you're right! Hooray! Let's all go to Buttercup Meadow. Come on! I can't see any dandelions at all. Me neither. How about you, Ba? Ba? <laughs> there you are. Have you found any dandelions? No, but I found the lovely juicy grass that I was eating yesterday. Ba! <gasps> These are the prickly seeds that you had on your woolly coat today. They are? Where? That plant is prickly. <laughs> <laughs> Billy! Mimi! Huh? <laughs> the prickly thing that stuck to Bar's coat isn't a dandelion seed. It's the seed of this prickly plant. Wow! Ooh! Well, we know that prickly seeds can travel on Bar's coat. Uh, I wonder how other seeds travel. Good thought, Billy. If we work that out, it might give us a clue about how the dandelion seed got into Mimi's garden. We've seen some other seeds today, in the middle of a flower. Now, what flower was it? A rose, a sunflower, or a daisy? A sunflower, that's right! Let's all go and see the sunflower. Come on. <laughs> Little bird loves those seeds. Yes, she does. Ah, I wonder where she's taking them. Let's follow her. Maybe this is how sunflower seeds travel. Yay! <laughs> Little Bird had the sunflower seeds in her mouth, Willow. So we're following her to see if she spits them out. She won't spit them out, Jess. Little Bird eats the seeds and then they pass through her. Pass through? Oh, I see. They pass through the bird and come out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other end. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how the dandelion seeds got into my garden. <laughs> we just need to find out if dandelion seeds travel the same way as sunflower seeds. So we still have to look for a dandelion flower. I saw Horace earlier at the pond having fun. I think he might be able to help you. Thanks, Willow. Come on, let's go and see. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <gasps> wow! What are you doing? Just blowing dandelion seeds. <gasps> dandelion <laughs> seeds! <laughs> That's right. <gasps> Can I have a go? Of course you can, Jess. It's fun. <laughs> Look, there are loads more over there. See, over by the dandelion flowers. So that's what dandelion seeds look like. Aha! Uh -huh. So this flower turns into this seed ball. <gasps> <gasps> wow! 
the wind blew it before I did. Oh, let's see where they blow to. Good idea, Billy. Follow those seeds. Bye, Horace. seed was blown into Mimi's garden by the wind. Isn't it amazing that this seed grew into a dandelion? <laughs> there. My dandelion looks perfect with these other yellow flowers. Oh, it looks great. Why don't you look out for dandelions to blow too? It's great fun. See if you can spot where the seeds land. Question soon. Bye! <laughs> 